Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Allison and today we are going to be doing a what is in my clinical bag as well as just the food that I take to clinicals and kind of that stuff. And yeah, I'm really excited for today's video. My last nursing video did really well. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit so it fall off the bed. <laughs> so I hope this video, I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as you enjoyed my last video. If you subscribe to my channel, you may have noticed that I have been MIA for a little while and I did want to just comment on that for a second. I have kind of promised and my goal for 2021 is to post a new video every uh, Monday and I have not done that the last two Mondays. I posted the first Monday of the year and I haven't posted since then. And the reason that is, is because Matt and I were sick. We did not have COVID. Thankfully, we both tested negative. But we were sick, I was super low energy, headache, just did not film, feel like filming. And then right in the middle of being sick and just so, so low energy, school started back. And this semester has been kicking my butt already. It has been so overwhelming. And so the overwhelming amount of schoolwork and trying to get adjusted to that, plus being sick and just not having the energy to really do anything has just been draining me. So I have only been doing the essentials like school and feeding myself basically my house is a mess that's on the agenda for today but yeah so finally I'm feeling better I'm having a little bit more free time getting more caught up on school and so I'm ready to start filming again so that is where I have been but now let's just jump into the video so for today's video I did want to show you guys everything that I keep in my clinical bag as far as supplies things like that and then I wanted to show you guys some of the food and different things. I was going to show you guys my uniform and kind of talk about that a little bit. But it's dirty and it's in the wash. So I'm not going to do that. But just to kind of give you guys an idea of as far as the uniform goes, just like everywhere else, we do have to wear um, a uniform, designated colored scrubs. I don't love my scrubs. They're Cherokee workwear. They're an older brand or they're older um, Cherokee workwear obviously still has scrubs, but these just look older. They're a color I'm not in love with, but to kind of spice it, make it like my own. And as far as what I do for clinicals, I always wear a undershirt. I wear a black long sleeve, like athletic style shirt, really thin material because I get very cold in the hospital. And so that just helps keep me warm. I also wear a jacket, which is another part of our school uniform, but yeah, so did want to show you guys that. Did want to tell you guys that. And let's just get more into the practical things. The things you want to hear. The things you clicked on this video for. And that is what's in my clinical bag. So, this is my clinical bag. This is a very old bag that, I think it's alright. My mom got this bag for free at a Sally's as like a gift. Like she spent so much money they gave her this. But... She gave it to me and actually I really like this bag. I've used it for years as a purse and now I use it as my clinical bag. So it is just a black double strap and in this pocket I keep my feminine products, just extras. One thing I love about this bag is it does turn into a backpack. So zip it up so I can check it. It is obviously just like a one strap shoulder bag. But if I am deciding to carry it into the clinical site, which I don't do very often, it really depends on where we are, what hus hospital we are at, um, whether I take the whole bag in. But you can just pull these little straps and then it's a backpack. So that's really nice. And one of the reasons why I love this is just a regular bag because um, it's very versatile. So it does just have one big pocket, which I like. And let's just start pulling stuff out and seeing what I have. So the first thing is these all around sanitizing wipes. I think my mom got these at TJ Maxx. Um, they were a gift when I started school. She just gave me these. And these are perfect because when I get done with clinicals and I get in my car, the very first thing I do is just wipe everything down. I wipe down my stethoscope, my watch, my phone, everything, all my supplies, my pens, everything before then I put them away just to help sanitize them so honestly you could get any of the any kind of sanitizing wipes these are 75% alcohol and like I said I think my mom got them from TJ Maxx but 
I definitely like having these in my bag. The next thing is my folded clipboard and inside of it is the extra mask I was given at my last clinical. So just have that in there, clean mask. And then I have all my papers. So the first thing I always keep in this, and this is just a black foldable clipboard. And the thing I do all around the board for every clinical is I keep pieces of just loose leaf paper. This is from a smaller size notebook, which you'll see in a second. But um, I just, there's no, this is not important HIPAA information. I just use this to take any notes that I may need. And then I have a, um, oh yes, I have a abbreviation sheet that we got at our last OB rotation. Um, just to kind of help us know what was going on. This was just a paper that my professor gave us to know because last week I was in the NICU and so she gave me this paper just to kind of look at of like they make you wash your hands before they go before you go in and they make you do like the full scrub in kind of thing where you have to wash your hands for three minutes and so she gave me this it's like an information thing that they give the parents and then the next thing I keep in here is our care plans. So I like to just keep this because um, we don't turn these in, we do them online, but it tells me everything that I need to know so that when I am in the hospital, like doing it, I have this to kind of reference to make sure that I get all the information that I need written down. And again, this is a foldable clipboard. I talked about this in my nursing essentials video. I love this, it fits in my scrub pocket so I don't have to hold it all the time, but yeah. That is the first thing. So obviously most of this stuff in here is actually for maternal newborn because, or like my OB rotation, labor and delivery, because that's what I was at last. And that's the clinical that I have tomorrow. So I have it. I did say that this was just an extra mask that I was given last week, but I always have, I bought a box of masks and I wear a fresh, fresh mask to every clinical and then I throw that mask away because I just feel like that's that's what you need to do. Next thing is just the small little notebook I was talking to you about. This is a six by nine notebook and I just rip the pages out of it every, I rip so like four to five pages out of it every morning and put it in my clipboard so that I have this um, just because this notebook is kind of big. So. so a lot of people carry the mini notebooks and I'll probably get one of those eventually. Um, but I just throw that. The next thing I have is this little bag and it just says she's going places literally and figuratively, but this is actually where I keep my goggles. So we have to wear goggles for every time we're in a patient room or we have to wear a face shield. I really hate the face shields. If you guys haven't worn those yet, it's so hard to hear in them and then you feel like you're screaming. So I got this and they're actually really dirty. I need to clean them um, because last week at clinical, I mostly just wore them on my shirt. So they're really dirty, but um, yeah. And I keep them in here to keep them from getting scratched. What's in next? That is trash. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have is some chapstick. This is the EOS. This is just EOS chapstick and yeah, I just keep that in there. Usually I put it on in the mornings before I go in and if I need it any time throughout the day, but I'm obsessed with chapstick. Then I found some pins. Don't know where these came from because I usually keep them somewhere else. But yeah, the last thing is my stethoscope case and this is where I keep all of my supplies. Um, like I said, I don't usually carry this stuff into the hospital, although sometimes I do more to carry my food in, but in it are usually my pins, I keep two pins on me at all times, and they are the black, they're two different pins actually, but I prefer the Pilot G2 pins, and they go in my little stethoscope case here. The next thing in this front pocket is my bandage scissors, which I have never used. My pin light, which I do carry with me into every clinical really like this pin light. Um, it has the dilation um, millimeters on the side and then it also has a small, um, it doesn't even say if this is five inches or I think it's five inches ruler. And yeah, I like 
that. So keep that with me. The next thing is my Kelly forceps. Again, have never used them, but the Kelly forceps and the bandage scissors are required from my clinicals or from my school. So I keep those. And then the last thing I have are these wet ones, which are antibacterial hand wipes. Again, just keep these on me in case I need to clean my stethoscope in between patients or whatever. Put this all back. And then this pocket opens and you have the rest of my stuff. So we have my um, badge, which I'm not gonna show you guys. I have a school badge and a clinical badge. I carry this, we were told for every clinical, we need to have a dry erase marker on us. We haven't used it yet, but I do carry it because I imagine we will use it eventually, really just to use to, um, on the patient's whiteboard in their room, really just to write your name down. But I do keep that. Have my stethoscope. This is a Littman Classic 5 in the color plum and I love this stethoscope. I have a nameplate with my first name on it and it is double sided and yeah so I have that in here. This is another alcohol pad that just got thrown in here but I didn't use it once and my Casio fold up tiny little calculator. I do not use this anymore. I don't bring it in with me anymore. It's just in here because I have my phone. Um. And that's another supplies I should probably tell you guys about. I keep my phone on me at all times in clinicals. We are required to do that because of, um, we use it to communicate with our professor through the hospital if we need her to, we need her to like give meds, do IVs, stuff like that. So we use her, we just text her when we need her. And um, I also have my drug guide on there. So I use the Davis drug guide app. And I do pay for the yearly subscription to it, and I love it. I was using Drugs.com at the beginning of last semester, but that app, it is a drug guide, but it is centered more for patient use, so it doesn't have a lot of that more, like, in-depth information that the Davis Drug Guide has. I use the David, Davis Drug Guide for nurses, which is really, really nice, and they put stuff in bold red whenever you... Um, Need it. I would show it to you guys, but I do film on my phone. So, but whenever it's super important information, they put it in red. I love that app. Highly, highly recommend. And it's only like $45 a year or something like that. So yeah, I, it's definitely worth it. And I think it's what most of my classmates use as well. So like I said, everything in here, I usually divvy out into the pockets or I wear my stethoscope around my neck and all of that. But for some clinicals, I take this bag in with me just so I have my food. So now we're gonna talk about food. So it really depends on the clinical and it's probably gonna depend on your school as well. But so last semester we had an hour lunch break where we had, um, a chance to like use a microwave, sit down and eat. There was a taco stand across the street. So a lot of students would just go to that instead of um, eating. The hospital I was at last semester also had a cafeteria, but it was really small and only two people total were allowed in at all times. So we as students tried to avoid the cafeteria a lot, but the hospital I'm at this semester is huge. They have a cafeteria and like a, they call it a, a bistro which is really just like a coffee shop that also serves food but we can eat in there however we don't have a designated lunch time so if you want to eat you just have to like leave your nurse so like last week I did not eat because I didn't want to miss anything but you gotta eat because that meant I didn't eat for like 12 hours and I was really hungry so this week I have more things, which I typically bring more like snack things anyway, but this week I have more things that I can like run to the break room, throw something down and, and go. The first thing I got is Slim Jims. These are super easy to just eat. It's obviously um, good protein. A serving size is four of these, which I did not realize, but so it's not very high calorie. Obviously it's gonna be high sodium. But yeah, these are really easy. They're small you can throw them in your pocket. You can throw them in your clinical bag. 
and then you can eat one or two in a quick break and you're good to go. The thing I always bring every year, every day to Kalanical Dough for lunch is these tuna lunch to go packets. And I absolutely love these. They're so convenient because they have everything that you need in them. They've got the chips for, uh, they have everything you need for the, everything you need in them for tuna salad. They have the chips, they have the mayonnaise, the relish, the tuna, they have a spoon. So I always eat these. They're super high in protein, super filling. I definitely recommend them. And yeah, this is what I typically eat for lunch. Another snack I always would bring with me is just a bag of chips because they're satisfying and quick and easy to eat. And I usually also bring cheese sticks. I love cheese sticks. So I'll usually bring one of those and that's another easy, quick thing. You can eat it with the Slim Jim and kind of have to give yourself a little charcuterie kind of thing going on. But yeah, I try to center my food with clinicals around things that I can eat really quickly. Because like I said, some places you get a whole hour and then you can bring, you know, leftovers and you can heat it up and have yourself a nice little lunch. But most places, more realistically, it's going to be quick bites to eat, granola bars, things like that. Oh, that's another thing. I always bring granola bars too. So I have to leave my house around 5 a.m. to get to clinicals because of the drive. So I usually for breakfast will eat two or three eggs because that's just good protein and it fills me up and it is sustaining. But then when I get to clinicals, right before I go in the door, usually like as I'm walking up, I eat a granola bar. That way I have something in my stomach to kind of help me go to the next. I also drink hot tea every morning. That is my coffee. And then on my way home from clinicals, I drink one of these. This is a Alani New. Are they not called Alani New anymore? Is it just Alani now? Oh no, there's the new. Alani New Hawaiian Shaved Ice Energy Drink. These are my absolute favorites, though there are a few flavors I haven't tried. I have this Brewmate and the energy drink fits right inside like this and it helps keep it super, super cold. And I love this thing. I usually will put the energy drink in the morning. I'll put it in this. And then I put it in a bag with a cool, with like a ice pack. And it keeps it nice and cold. And then I drink it on my way home. Because then I have, I get out of clinical. I'm tired and I have an hour drive. So, so for tomorrow, I get out of clinical. And I'm going to get my COVID vaccine. <laughs> I'm so excited. Getting my COVID vaccine tomorrow. And yeah, so I'm not going to get home until like, Super late tomorrow, but I'll have my Awani new. And then the last thing that I always bring with me is water. I talked about this in my, um, what I was asking for Christmas, my Christmas wish list video, but this is from Amazon and it is a gallon size water bottle. And I've been drinking this up almost every day. I love this thing. It has the times on it I get made fan of because it's gigantic and I carry it around like a baby because it's so big but um that's my one complaint I wish it had like a shoulder strap or something like that which it does have a spot where I could probably put one but yeah so this is like I said it's a gallon 128 ounces and I always bring this completely full I don't use it I don't keep up with the hours usually on at clinicals because um you know, I'll be on the floor for three or four hours and then I'll get a moment away and then I go and I'll drink like half the gallon. Last week, our first week of clinicals, I did, I was, our break room was on one side of the hospital and I was in the NICU on the other side of the hospital. So I was nowhere near my water or my food and so I didn't have any water all day, like from 6.30 or 7 a.m. till 2.30. I didn't have any water. I get out of clinical, I get this thing, and I immediately drink. I'm already like down to where I need to be immediately. Like I drink half of this thing in like 30 minutes. And then I eat my lunch and I go to drive home, which like I said, is about an hour drive. And I was like, I can make it. Like I just went to the bathroom before I left and like, I'm fine. I had to pull over at a gas station literally five minutes from my house because I was not going to make it. I was like, considering squatting on the side of the road it was that bad so you think about that if you drink so much water you are gonna have to go to the bathroom but I recommend 
if you're trying to drink a lot of water and I do want to make a video about this like drinking more water and cutting out soda follow the guidelines don't chug because when you chug it's when you have to pee so much but when I am drinking this throughout the day and I drink from seven to nine and then like I'll drink by like 8 30 I'll have drink to nine I will stop drinking and then at nine o'clock I will drink to 11. Like I don't go past. If it's 8.30, I ain't drinking past this. I'm stopping at 9 and I'm not going to drink again until 9 o'clock is past. And that helps me keep from having to go to the bathroom every 10 minutes. You still have to go to the bathroom a lot. It's still like an every hour kind of thing. But it's not every 30 minutes kind of thing. So, yes. Alright. That is it. That is all that I have for you guys. I hope that this video was enjoyable for you guys. I hope it was entertaining. But I hope you also got some practical advice for things to bring to clinicals, things to have at clinicals, food to bring to clinicals, and I hope you enjoyed seeing what's in my clinical bag. I will see you guys later and have a good week.